Hi, I'm back again with another uh, photo album to share. This one I went through uh, the tutorial for the Graphic 45 Curiosity Shop. Um, the tutorial was by uh, Anna of Anna's Paper Creations and I'll leave a link to that tutorial for you um, in the description box. Um, this one starts out as a ten and a half by seven and a quarter by three inches tall. And uh, the binding is a faux alligator uh, design and this is a uh, damask. It is paper, but it has kind of a, uh, uh, a fuzzy embossed on it. And it's uh, the same on the back. Uh, once again, I have not um, embellished it. Um, I'll leave that for whoever ends up with it to do as they like. Um, it's basically black, white, and cream with a uh, hint of green throughout. Uh, a very tailored look because of the lack of um, embellishments. So let's get her open and start looking inside. Um, I went through her honest tutorial and I took out the things that I, I didn't care for um, and I switched up some of the sizing and the orientation of the pages. Um, we start out here with um, a lot of uh, journaling to start your story. Um, there's a lot of magnetic catches. This is the first one and it opens out and it's full of tags. There are so many tags in here. If I start taking them out, I'll never know where they all belong. So I'm going to leave them in there, but um, you can see that all of the back panels, um, you can have um, photographs in there as well. Um, these all come out of and the paper. This one it also flips up and the tag comes out. Okay, and that's the first page. The magnetic closure. And all of the pockets have full size uh, photo mats. Okay, and turn the page over now. Center that in the picture. And this one has a uh, flip out that just seems to continue to go forever with all kinds of room for pictures and journaling. Um, this is a non-functional frame. They're throughout functioning and non-functioning. Um, this is a functioning frame and it is oriented for the pull out. So it's marked there so you can get your picture in there and it becomes a frame covered with the acetate there. Um, this is a uh, pocket page. You can start seeing where some of the green is showing up. Um, this has a, a lot of tags on there and there are several interactive books. Um, this is the first one. Um, it has a little pocket there and it flips up, but it also, oops, pulls out. So you can put a picture on there and frame it. So I thought that was kind of fun. She has some really cute books in here. Um, and I did go through and make some of those and um, some of them I made bigger um, to get bigger pictures in. Then this whole thing folds out and it's full of tags and on top of the tags there's another full-size photo mat with a non-functioning um, frame and a place for journaling. These however are functioning frames so you can stick your pictures down in them. Okay, put that back in there. And all the others. And then this is uh, one of the, some of some of a few um, 
envelopes that I made and they just have photo mats. Some of the photo mats have the actual catches in them so all you have to do is put the photo in. Um, And there's a little belly band filled with all kinds of tags and photo mats. I'll close this back up then. And again, the full size photo mat for that page. And we flip it over. Um, this is a non functioning frame, but there are uh, journaling spots with uh, more opportunities for photos as well. Um, we go to the next page here. This flips out, and we've got some tags in there, and this is full of tags, and another book. This is a little simpler, and you can see that it's all ready for photos just to be stuck into the corners. So many they're kind of bursting at the seams here. Um, these go in here. And uh, another little belly band full of uh, tags and photo mats and journaling spots. Another book. This is really fun. It's a magnetic catch um, and that opens out. Each of these pages. It opens out here. And this is a double frame, which is kind of fun, I thought. With, it has the acetate on the top. This tag comes out to reveal this tag as it comes out. So that one's kind of fun to, fun to play with there. So I'll put that back in there. That was really cute. And then it just catches again. Here's another envelope, and it just has a photo mat in it. Um, this inside one. Um, this is a magnetic catch again, which reveals a journaling spot for a waterfall with um, a lot of real estate for smaller photos and the story that would go with them. And again, the photo mat. For the page. This one is um, very interactive. It also has magnetic catches, so it opens this way and that way, this way and that way, but it also lifts up to reveal a large mat and two interactive books put over here and we'll get to those in a minute and another full page photo mat with a spot for journaling here so let's go take a look at the uh, books um, these this one is already prepared you just have to stick your photos in all these little corners catch your photos for you and they're various sizes and colors. Okay, it just sticks back in that big pocket. This whole thing is a pocket. This is a kind of a wallet. It's also a magnetic catch and it opens out and it has a little belly band here and a little uh, pocket here and then when you open this side it's a little gusseted pocketbook. which is also has a magnetic catch. You can hear the little snaps. And it goes back in there. It's a very tailored looking book because of the lack of um, ribbons and embellishments, but there's a few, but I, I wanted to leave it up to the recipient to do what they want to do with it. Um, it was designed for a black and white wedding 
um, and the bride can put in her accent colors to make it hers. Um, this is the next page and it opens out like this, also a magnetic catch filled with um, photo mats and tags and another little book with a magnetic catch, some journaling spots. It's ready for pictures and some not. And then these open out. These are non-functioning frames. Just put your pictures in there to frame them. Another envelope with a photo mat in it for those things that you don't want everyone to see. Some more tags and look at the beautiful paper underneath. So that goes back. It goes back and catches again. And the again full size photo mat in there. And on the last page. Um, there's another envelope, um, some tag, journaling tag, and, and a larger photo mat here, and a large area for more journaling. So that's my latest, my last one. I've done a couple of them for people um, in different colors and different themes, but the uh, construction was the same. So. If you wanted to buy this book in particular, it's on my Etsy shop and uh, it has all the particulars for pricing and shipping and that sort of thing. And if you were interested in having one made for you in your theme and color, um, just give me a holler and uh, we'll work something out. Anyway, um, I will be back with another one, hopefully not too long from now. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time. Goodbye.